actually say dream job can't wait until i get to do it or work hard if the results got me addicted to it if there's a devil i don't listen to him if there's a god Hello and welcome back my friends, my name is Eddie and this is another punishment guide. This time we're going to go over the lovely Asuka Kazama, we're going to go over her moves that are launch punishable on block, jab punishable on block, things that we can knock her down, and moves that we can flash in the middle of. So let us begin. To get this little tidbit out of the way, we're going to go over her Rage Art first. It's just a simple mid that's like negative a million on block, and there you go. The first move on Asuka's launch punishable section is 2-3. Uh, believe it or not, with this pushback, this move is still very launch punishable. Up next is a just frame 3-4. Uh, this is just a very cheeky low. Uh, it is at least negative 15 on block. Yoshimitsu can get a wall rising 2-1 combo from this move. Up next is the mix up 1 plus 4 into 3 into down 4. If you are able to block this low, a part of this mix up, Yoshimitsu can get a wall rising 2 1 off of it. Up next is 4 plus 2. While this move is negative 18 on block, the recovery on this move is faster than you think. Asuka can get a parry out of it if you're not fast enough. This string is back plus 4, 2, 3. It's an all mid string and it's negative 15 on block. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very complicated string. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about the back three series that Asuka has. So, her regular back three, right, is negative 15 on block. You can launch punish this move with a crouch dash one from Yoshimitsu. She's very far away. Uh, the thing is, Asuka can also go into forward two if she can go into her dashing mix ups from this. Her dashing mix ups high crushes, so you can't really punish this with a high. You have to like you have to make a read on your opponent. Say if Asuka does a back a back three into a forward two, you can flash in the middle of that. Um, however, if she does back three into the lower kicks that you see here you can get a low parry and Flash won't be able to work on that. So the best idea here would be to, I guess, do a crouch dash one for either of them because she's very prone to counter hit in that mix up here, as you see in the gameplay. Not many Asukas will do that. Not many Asukas will be foolish enough to do that, but if you do catch one doing that, you can't have a field day with that back three. I just recommend that you don't do any highs whatsoever because she'll crush those. This is her Whiplash series. This is a uh, forward one into the bicycle kick, and you can duck and punish this. You can also get a duck and flash off of it. Uh, the other move will be four plus one into down four. If you are able to block this low, it's negative 26 on block, allowing Yoshimitsu to get a wall rising 2 1 combo. This is down 1 plus 2, a very cheeky low that Asuka can simply just throw out. However, it is negative 15 on block, allowing Yoshimitsu to get a wall rising 2-1 combo off of this from crouching. Before I go over the jab punishment section, I do want to say, speaking on the 4-2 cancels, yes, she can cancel forward 2, she doesn't need back 3 for it. And doing this, she can go into her full crouch mix-ups, and she can even get some command throws out of this as well. <laughs> to start the jab punishable section, we have 1-3, just a simple high-low, that's negative 12 on block. We have down forward 1-2 here. Uh, if you get hit by the high, she slams you onto the ground face first like a savage. Uh, but we can duck this, it is high. Get a wall rising 2-1 off of it. It's a mix up, so down forward 1-4. If you block this, it's negative 12 on one. We now have down back one into two, which mid low, uh, you can either low period, or if you block it, you can get a wall rising four since it is negative 12 on block. This is down back two, it's a launching mid. Unfortunately, it is only negative 13 on block. And as you can see, that recovery is something severe. Okay. 
Up next, we have a dream for you. This is back plus two, one plus two into four. It's a mid high mid string. I uh, believe the high does jail the mid on block, but you can get a down four to one for it. Unfortunately, I was doing the wrong punish there. Yeah, yeah, there we go, me. Good job, me. Up next we have back 1 plus 4 into 4, it's a high low mid string, uh, you can low parry the mid, I don't think you can flash the mid into, I'm sorry, you can't flash the low into the mid, but you can knock her down for her efforts. Up next is Asuka's hop kick, it's just negative 13 just like all of the other ones. Uh, not to be confused with up 4 plus 3, that one is actually safe. Uh, this move is a part of a mix-up string. This is forward forward two into one plus two. That one's a double mid. The other one is high, but it's actually really fast. But this one, look for the double hand push into your chest. That's how you'll know it's negative 13 and that you can block this move. Up next we have wall rising one into four. It's mid high. Uh, this is used mostly for punishment. However, if you do catch them slipping, you can duck this and get a wall rising two one from it. This is full crouch down for two, just a cheeky little low. Counter hit, she can get something very, very damaging off of this, but if you do block it, it is negative 12 on block. All right, we're about to go on a field trip. I'm gonna talk about her leg cutter series. This, this is a very maddening move, a very series of lows and mids. No sane Asuka is going to do all three down back fours. Uh, they will mix it up with down four three, which ends in high, and down back four into one plus four into the string that we talked about earlier, and she can make herself an infinite loop with these moves. She can also go into these strings from uh, one, back plus two, and then back plus three. All three of those moves can transition her into her uh, down back four leg cutter series. And something that's probably the most important piece of information from this. After each of these, the very after the first hit is either going to be a low or a high. So the best recommendation there is to duck and punish it or to low parry it and get yourself a low parry punishment off of it. And to end this off, I'm gonna have her 10 hit combo, which you low parry the 6 hit in each one, or rather in the first two, you low parry the 6 hit, and the third one is an incomplete 10 hit string. And all of you Yoshimitsu players looking for something more advanced, I suggest you guys check out Inka. He has a black book series that goes over characters rage arts and rage drive, and how Yoshimitsu himself can finesse his way out of those. Also, before I go, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate everybody who drops a comment and everything like that. I do want to say, if you guys want to check me out, watch me uh, watch me play an RPG or something like that, or just watch me game in general, if you guys support me, you guys can watch me on Twitch. I will have my Twitch down in the description. Just come by, say hello every now and again if you catch me streaming. That's all. I do think that covers about everything. So, once again, thank you for watching, and you guys stay safe, and I will see you guys next time.